Why do we need a rocking chair? It's not that we need a rocking chair. It's that I'm home with the baby all day and I want a rocking chair. Why don't we just buy a new one? I don't want some store-bought chair that everyone else has. Besides, this one probably has some history. My husband, Derek, worked in Manhattan's financial district. He was there on 9-11, and I was at home with our baby, Danielle. Uh, the whole thing scared us so much we decided to move to the suburbs. We were settled into our new house by mid-December, just in time for Christmas. Danielle was the worst sleeper. But after rocking her in that chair for only 15 minutes, she was out like a light. Mia was having a tough time since Danielle was born. Her doctor said it was a mild case of postpartum depression. She didn't want to admit that anything was wrong. But the day that we got that chair was the happiest I'd seen her in months. in here. Well, you know, there's always a logical explanation. Yeah, right. Sometimes the monitors pick up other signals. It's like a CB radio. I know it sounded like a woman's voice coming from the baby monitor. Maybe I dreamt it. It was an easy thing to write off. But between what me and I had seen, I didn't feel comfortable leaving Danielle alone in there. At first, I thought it was Derek playing some kind of twisted joke. But he said the chair was still outside when he left for work in the morning. I had no idea how that chair got back upstairs. What? For Caroline. 
It says Fort Caroline on it. Before we burned it, I wanted to know more about it. I don't know why. Hi. Sorry to bother you, but... We wanted to ask you about the chair. The inscription on the bottom? Caroline. Is Carol... She's dead. Just because I had a yard sale here doesn't give you an invitation to drop by whenever you like. Sorry to bother you. Let's go. Merry Christmas. Danielle was only six months old. She had just barely started pulling herself up in her crib. So there was no way she could have gotten herself out of her crib and down the stairs. I was convinced that it all had to do with the chair. And I wanted it out of our lives forever. How are we doing? Good. It was weird that he came by our house unannounced like that, especially since he had been so mad at us for dropping by his. But it turns out he had something he wanted us to know after all. Carolyn was Evelyn's daughter from a previous marriage. Real troubled. Got pregnant too young. Probably thought that was going to change her life. It did postpartum depression. He explained that Caroline was his stepdaughter. Her mother, Evelyn, was his late wife. They tried getting Caroline medical attention, getting her to see a therapist. She refused all of it. <laughs> kind of like Mia. Anyway, she waited till the boy was out with his father. Then she used a rocking chair to tie a rope around the rafters and hang herself. Jeez. Oh, my God. It sounds crazy to hear myself talk about it now, but I saw that girl hanging before I knew about it. I mean, for me, there was no question. We'd both seen Caroline in our house. You're so sweet. After we burned the chair, nothing strange happened again. Not with the baby or the house. Hearing him tell us that story, I kind of felt a connection to Caroline. I understood the dark place she was in better than anybody, and I was lucky to find my way out of it. <laughs> 